show your support. Like, share and subscribe. Hello again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yes. Merry Christmas. Last one until Christmas, this is. Yes, it is, yes. The 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 one kind of will follow right in the middle of Christmas and New Year, so this is probably the last one of the year, I would say. Yeah, I would say so. I, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be quite busy between Christmas and New Year, so... <laughs> yeah, the one that would be the 30th, we'll yes. have to uh, reschedule that for possibly the week after. Yes, Maybe that's three yes, week gap. possibly. But yeah. But yeah, how how has it been in uh, the world of that British guy? Um, it's it's not been too bad. I've thankfully the the previous week I was getting a bit ahead, so I kind of had a, a fairly easy week. But this coming week is going to be quite busy because of, as we say, Christmas and and the bit in between before New Year. I want to still have content, but I won't be around next weekend or much between Christmas and New Year. So. I've got a very busy weekend. <laughs> yeah, no, I can imagine. <laughs> yes. Um, it's sort of the same here. I've not... Mine's more been recently. I haven't had too much time to film stuff and also had the cold the week before when I could have filmed something. Ah, right, yes. <clears throat> the voice was... I think when I did the um, uh, the Let's Go video, like the Why You Should Buy Let's Go and then our podcast, that was when the voice was... Just yes, gone. You could, if I didn't know my voice was going when I was doing Let's Go, but listening back to it, I'm like, oh god, I was getting very grainy at times. Yeah, I kind of heard that during bits of the podcast, Talk, like talking to you while we were recording it. It didn't sound as bad, but then yeah. editing bits for it was like, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I think genuinely recording that Let's Go video was what started to stretch the voice because I hadn't really spoke much all day. Ah. And then I came back. I did the footage of it first, and then I filmed the voiceover a bit after. <clears throat> so I did all the editing first, and then I literally put the camera to my face and started talking. Yeah. And I think it was doing constant talking for about 20 minutes that made my voice go, no, I've had it. I've, <laughs> I've, I've done I'm done. Enough. And then that was my, yeah, and then a week of nothing. Couldn't do anything. It was too grainy. And then I had a fairly busy week this week, but got one through. Cool. That's Christmas for you. It is, yeah. Try and get all the filming done for all the all the subscribers out there. That should all, be good. All that wonderful content. Yeah. <laughs> so have you got? I'm um, I'm assuming you've got a fair bit planned. I say fair bit. I'm assuming you've got an average amount planned for the coming weeks. In hindsight of Christmas. Uh, hindsight? well, no, yeah, I'm kind of yeah. looking ahead. Uh, where are we today? There. So yeah, I've got my last uh episode of my WrestleGamia series this Tuesday, which I still need to record. <clears throat> Um, yeah. That will be the end of that, um, and then I've got my other PlayStation Plus review at the end of the week, okay. um, and yeah, just some gameplay bits and pieces. Then kind of scattered around uh, in between Christmas and New Year, really, because it's kind of the only thing that I can I can do. I don't really want to start anything new until the New Year for yeah. obvious reasons. Um, so it will just be kind of bits and pieces that I can do in the interim yeah. really that are just kind of standalone bits of stuff yeah no that does make sense yeah easier to easier to create as well easy content to get going as a bit of gameplay not you know simply it's just it's a lot easier in the editing suite I'll call it, it. yes it's just very, yeah. yes I found it's that out very quickly yeah <laughs> exactly because you yeah. haven't got to keep chopping and changing because of obviously uh, you've got the gameplay there, so if there's bits of silence or bits where you muck up, you've just got to kind of keep it in there and let people enjoy the actual gameplay side of it. That is exactly right. Yes. <laughs> that sounds good, though. Mm. I think the only thing I've got scheduled at the moment is my um, Christmas special. Yeah, looking forward is, to that. Yeah, it's essentially... I'm trying not to give too much away to people, <laughs> but it's essentially a, a music video, and it's just it's just a bit of fun. It's... It's not like you know overly serious. It's just that no, right. What can we do that's going to be a laugh around Christmas time? Fair play. Yeah. Of which you're going to be featuring in, which you've yeah, helped me out with. So that's, I'm in. Yeah. I'm intrigued to, to to know how you're going to use me in that video. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you you provided a message which the subscribers will hear well, at the beginning, along with mine. 
But then, uh, yeah, the other bit of footage you've you've provided, I've not used it in any embarrassing or silly, uh-huh. or like you know, <laughs> uh, bad ways. It is all in a good way. But you'll you'll see what I mean. Cool. <laughs> when is that this week, or is that a Christmas shit, Day um, thing, or? Uh, that should be this week. I'm aiming for this week. Oh, okay, I shouldn't cool. have too much editing to do. I've just got to finish some filming for it. Oh, okay. I'm going to send a tweet out when this video goes out because uh, the only clue I'll give is that I've got to do some of the filming of me uh, climbing up a tree. So it's... Uh, <laughs> right. Which confuses everyone, but hopefully more intrigues them than puts them off. <laughs> hmm, okay. Yeah, so I will be... By the time this has gone out, I will have tweeted a video of me... Climbing, climbing up a tree. Climbing a tree. Right. Yeah. Okay. I haven't done that since I was about 12. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll Just see how it gets on. don't fall out of it. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, just, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about today anyway? Because I, d- I don't even know what you wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. No, normally we, <coughs> normally we kind of pre-prep that. But to yeah. be honest, this was, this was kind of me just thinking very late last night and early this morning. Um, just kind of about 2019, really. Um, right, OK. Because, well, anyone that has sort of been following me a bit may or may not be aware of the issues, shall we say, uh, that I've had with 2018. Uh, yes. specifically surrounding the house. I did a fair few uh, kind of farewell-ish videos towards the beginning of the year, expecting a bit of a gap to move into my house to set up a new studio, and that was kind of when I was going to effectively launch uh, the the channel 2.0, really. And yeah. <coughs> stuff happened with the house, and we haven't been able to move in, so we've been stuck in the flat, so that never really happened. Um and we've kind of got to a point now where it's looking fairly likely that at the beginning of next year, hopefully, uh, that will come to fruition and we'll be in and I'll be able to set up the, the new studio and kind of relaunch the channel 2.0. But kind of along with that, I've got other bits and pieces that kind of I was just going to be doing in 2019 anyway. So, yeah, it was just kind of discussing and letting people know about those really as to what's what's coming uh just trying to stay keep keep my own brain positive with uh (laughs) with regards to that and then kind of look ahead rather than uh back because the personally as soon as 2018 finishes i will be rejoicing because it's been a bit of a bitch of a year um yes it has for all all, yeah (laughs) For, on for so many levels. very <laughs> various different reasons yes yeah uh, yeah does that mean that then uh, channel 2.0 is extremely likely for 2019 with the house move then i i bloody hope so <laughs> yes yes it would be really ridiculous if you had to wait an entire year for yes. the house that you already own to be very much so yeah i mean we we've living. owned it since march and still here we are in december and we can't actually live in it for mainly for health reasons um, yeah. as well as structural reasons. But, yes, in 2019 when it's fixed. But but even before then, um, I have... I think I, I kind of hinted towards two projects uh, maybe a month or so ago with you that I am okay. uh, doing, one of which I want to reveal now, just right. because. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it is written in its entirety uh but i haven't got any footage for anything yet so that will be kind of my next thing and it's based off of something that i'd already been doing this year and even late 2017 i think i started it um and basically what it is is a using a wrestling game that i have uh 2k14 because it's got um kind of a story mode builder to it Okay. I use that to create footage to create a weekly, like episodic show, to tell oh, stories okay. with, um, <clears throat> called the. It, it's basically as passe as you can make it. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's called the very British Wrestling Federation. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, it deliberately ridiculous? Oh or? yes, yes. It's yes. it's oh, so yeah, okay. <laughs> like on the nose of ridiculous as as much as I can make it. Um, You've got characters there that, um, well, I'm sure you'll appreciate one of them, uh, is a guy called the Hooligan. 
and okay. he is basically a football hooligan in a Newcastle United shirt. <laughs> and the oh, only good. the <laughs> only reason I put him in a Newcastle United shirt was really it was the easiest kind of identifiable football shirt I could get oh, okay. with the creation features because you just put a, a t-shirt with black and white stripes on there. Uh, yeah. It's fairly obvious what it is, especially when I then put Shearer 9 on the back of it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, not to um, generalise fans, but I suppose a Millwall shirt isn't very recognisable. Uh, no, no, that is true. Uh, I suppose I could have done something like a, a West Ham or something, but there we go. It was just a nah. bit more fiddly with the bits of blue trim. It was a lot easier to do black and white stripes. So that's... West Ham fans haven't punched horses like <laughs> Indeed. So yeah, yeah, you've got guys like that. You've got a guy that's dressed up as a prince uh, and okay. he's got a kind of a manager who is a princess. You've got um, a typical Essex girl called Brittany. Um, <laughs> there's a few foreign characters in there as well. So I've got the ridiculous stereotypical French guy with the beret and the little moustache. Um, mm. I've got um, an Australian guy with the hat. Unfortunately, not with the corks dripping down because that wasn't on the uh, in the game. But that kind of guy. Um, <coughs> yeah, just as many ridiculous characters as that. And I did start this late 2017 with the intention of making it an ongoing weekly thing. But okay. with the amount of editing and also I do all the like commentary and voices for all the characters, for all the oh, kind of okay. bits in between the matches. So yeah. it, as you can imagine, with adding all that in, it's very, very time consuming. So the plan imagine. for this now is to do kind of um, like 10 weeks with okay. kind of then a big show at the end and then maybe do it again in sort of six, eight months later. Okay. in the year rather than the the initial intention was literally to make this a weekly show every single week yeah <laughs> you can imagine how okay. much work that was so it kind of died because of that um but i'm 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 bringing bringing it back mainly because i was inspired by world of sport when that was on on itv yeah. and they just did a 10 episode run and i thought okay i'll i'll give that a bash um okay. but the other Secret project is coming as well. Uh, I won't reveal that just yet, but that will be in 2019. Just trying to think of me years then. Um, obviously, I mentioned earlier, Wrestle Game Era is coming to an end, uh, so I will be doing a second version of that. I'll be picking up another game and playing through kind of the story mode or the season mode of that a uh, week at a time. Um, I haven't decided the game yet. I've got two in mind, but I'm not sure which one to pick. Um, but the other main thing, and this really does kind of hinge on the house and the new studio, is Twitch. Oh, yes. I have a Twitch, and I've already got a Twitch channel. Um, yeah. I was bored at work one day, so I just kind <laughs> of uh, filled in all the bits and pieces. So I, there is officially a That British Guy Twitch channel. There's nothing on it yet, and there won't be anything on it until, realistically, until I'm in the new studio um, and I have the new setup because I kind of want to focus on newer games, um, which will probably hinge more on my PS4, which I don't have here with me in yeah. this studio. So... <laughs> That's I mean, looking at looking at Twitch. It seems if you play Fortnite, you'll get about four million followers anyway. <laughs> well, I refuse to play that it seems game. Like the only game people are playing awful. on it, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Uh, hate that. No, no. Yeah, we won't. We won't do that. <laughs> Just no. To be honest, the 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 game I have in mind at the moment is No Man's Sky, okay. and I know oh, there no was one. a lot of mm. flack about that when it first came out, um, but the game <clears> now is effectively a completely different game from the one they initially released. Um, okay. and obviously they kind of updated it for free because they realised that they basically lied to everyone um, and have kind of turned it into the game that they initially advertised it as and it's quite fun but I haven't properly had a reason to go back to it in depth and I'm hoping this will kind of give me a reason for that also because it's kind of open ended I can just kind of stop whenever I want or do it how I want to do it rather than yeah have an objective and be like, okay, well, I'm recording for, say, an hour. I need to get to point B from point A within an hour. Whereas yeah. with that, because it's so open, I could just kind of do what I want. 
explore a planet for an hour or yeah. a whole solar system or <clears throat> just go as far as I can towards the centre of the universe within an hour and go from there, really. Sounds all right. With the, uh, yeah. <clears throat> with the Twitch, would there be a, a Patreon with that as well? Um, that is something that I have set up, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, at this stage. Um, yeah. okay. again, I thought, well, as if I get it now with the name now, if I right, then make yeah. it live, everything's kind of all under one bubble together. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, the, the only reason I'm doing the Twitch stuff is so that I can kind of have an excuse to play newer games on there that don't lend themselves to the channel as much yeah. um okay, they will yeah. probably be pretty much exclusively playstation 4 maybe playstation 3 um sorts of games um okay. and probably not anything to do with the wrestling side of things because that's mainly what the channel's for okay fair enough hence sort that of new right, no man's sky things like that so yeah, yeah. that's the intention takes a focus away from the sort of more retro gaming that's on the channel and then makes the more modern side on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a, a an intentional divide of, of the two so that it, it doesn't kind of muddy the water. If people just want to watch the newer stuff, they can effectively ignore my channel. Um, and if people don't really care about Twitch or don't want to use Twitch or have got no interest in the newer stuff, then they can avoid that. Hopefully people will kind of dip into both. And obviously yeah. I can use Twitter and Facebook to kind of open that up to everybody and whoever yeah. wants to listen can listen and whoever wants to ignore it can ignore it. <laughs> yeah, Twitch should be a good way to get people into the channel as well i would think because hopefully probably... yeah i it, it seems to be <coughs> being used more and more so it seems stupid to not use it myself really yeah will you just be doing like the um the audio as you play the game or will you have yourself on like a little video stream it depends on the setup in in the room really until yeah. i move into the house and and kind of set that room up i don't really know what kind of setup i'm going to be able to have hopefully with with camera um, but I, I honestly don't know. Um, I don't really know how Twitch works in terms of, well, generally anyway, and in terms of PS4, so it'll be a bit of a learning experience for me. Yeah, it does make sense. I've only ever watched, I've never... Yeah, same. Done anything, yeah. Same, so... I will look out for that. Then. I will do whatever I can do with it, and post whenever I've got time really that will probably be less structured it won't be a oh it's Sunday morning it's Twitch day yeah <laughs> that'll be a as and when you can yeah effectively yeah if you've done your filming and there's no videos to post in the immediate 48 hours you're like oh well yeah I'll yeah. log in <laughs> yeah that's fair enough pretty much I've got Twitch so I shall find you and follow you on there cool is it just literally that British guy as a username uh I think so yes uh <laughs> As I said, when uh, when things kind of get nearer to uh, nearer to completion, I'll kind of yeah. make more of a big thing of it. But but for the time being, watch this space. Yeah, the the idea was if I say it now, especially with the the uh, wrestling show as well. If I say it now, I've effectively committed to it, so I've now got to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where you're saying right, I'll do this eventually. Yeah, I'm very good at eventually never coming. So if I actually say it's going to be a thing, then it becomes a thing. Yeah, that's fair enough. So uh, yeah, that's that's sort of similar to the um, furrow region thing I've been doing, which is as and when I can do that. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody listening to this has seen my um, recent sort of part one of the furrow region I based have. on the UK video. Yeah, it was I have. it was a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed doing it. Just a quick side thing. Did you use yeah. me as a clue? Did I use you as a clue? Yeah, with the whole British thing. <laughs> Not entirely. I put a British flag in place of one of the cuz on the background of this podcast as you might see if you look on the screen. We've got I've uh, on mine. I use the background of loads of little game lo uh, logos, and near your username, where you would usually have the games around it, I swap one of them round for a uh, a British flag. Oh, right. I thought it would make sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then in a couple of videos, I'd had my map up and my flag up, just as so I thought, yeah, this could be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I just want some people to watch it and go, oh, I didn't notice that. Nice. Like my lovely partner, who <laughs> also spends time in this room. Yeah. 
did not even just watch the videos and didn't notice. She <laughs> <laughs> also spent time in the room and didn't. She sort of goes, "Why is that on the wall?" It's like, "Oh, I don't know." Okay, cool. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, yeah, I, much like your Twitch thing, as and when this will be an as and when as well, because of course, if you've seen it, it's built on Minecraft, which isn't something you can necessarily do in a couple of evenings, ready mm. for a weekly video. I mean, for example, I started that one when I went to Newcastle, and that was sort of early to mid-November. So it's taken over, well, probably about a month or so, actually, to get that together. But that did include a weekend away, where, obviously, where I wasn't <clears throat> watching football or or touring the stadium. I was yeah. probably just in the hotel, chilling with some Chris, playing that, watching telly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah... Um, I thought I'd, today I'll try and preview a couple of locations I'm going to be using, oh, okay. as well as some yeah, as well as some extra information because obviously I've created not just the map and wrote in extensive notes. I don't know if you can hear my pages turning. I do, but hear I've written extensive yes. notes on each town, uh, what their names are, what's <clears throat> what's going to be in there. So I'm ready to build them. But I've also created, um, I've invented Pokemon, which I think in the uh, community they call them Fakemon, or Fakemon, whatever you want to say. Oh, okay. But I, I can't draw for to save my life, so, so <laughs> I haven't done that. Um, but I was <clears throat> just going to go through a couple of gyms I'm going to use in the region, and then talk through a few Pokemon I've created, but can't draw because I'm not very good at it. Maybe one day I'll team up with someone that can actually draw. But um, until then, I've got them here. Okay. So in the video, I um, <clears throat> I showed the Pokemon Lab, mm -hmm. and one thing I've changed because it's going to be based if also if you played a game. Yeah. So in the Pokemon Lab, there instead of just going in and talking to a professor in a coat and getting a Pokemon off them, you um go in, you can talk to them obviously, but then they'll send you to a certain area. They're like, oh, which one do you want to choose? And then they'll show you, and then you're like, oh, you've chose that one. Cool. Right, go find it. <laughs> so like the grass type, of course, was upstairs in an outdoor tree growing on a roof type scenario yeah and that was based off the pokemon fribbit which evolves into a frog grove i'm just going to say now the second stage evolutions i haven't really put much thought into them just yet apart from the names and the types um frog grove and then that'll evolve into frog and roll and they are basically tree frogs they're based off the australian tree frogs which grow to be quite quite large almost like toads right so fribbit's a nice little cute tree frog because they are awesome i'm not gonna lie they're one of my favorite animals <laughs> and then frog grove not too much thought but frog and roll is basically going to be sort of like a a fat frog that's almost spherical right but with like its limbs can because it's so its body is so sort of um slimy it can m move its arms and legs in so that it can roll around and that's one of its attacks sort of thing it's going to have that sort of movement and that's going to be its sort of gimmick, if that makes sense. Well, like a, almost like a rolling tackle. Yeah. Okay. There's a move called Rollout, which doubles every time you get hit by it. But I am going to try and invent a specific move for that Pokemon. Cool. And they're all going to be pure grass types. There's no water types in there, even though it's a frog. It's all gr It's just pure grass. Mm -hmm. Because I'm breaking the trends. <laughs> <coughs> and then we'll go on to the fire type, which was in the lava pit, which is awesome. I enjoyed doing that. Um, which is called Cubburn, which is just a cub jaguar, or no, jug, uh, a cub jaguar or panther, either way, evolving into um, Jagachar, and then the final stage evolution is Cremantha, right. which is just is going to be the first quadrupedal fully evolved fire starter, because every single fire starter so far has been bipedal; they've just been on two legs. And I, for for ages, I've just been thinking we really need something like a panther or a you know like a four legged sort of mm. cat type beast type, well, you know, a four legged yeah. fire start. And that's what that's going to be. I haven't put too much thought into it apart from that, but that's what that one is. I've just got a prodigy in my head now because you keep saying fire starter. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that, yeah, <laughs> I do like prodigy. <laughs> Maybe I'll base one off of there. Yeah, <laughs> one called Keith. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, the water starter. I'm surprised we've had seven generations of Pokemon, 809 Pokemon so far, and we still haven't got a dolphin Pokemon. Not even not not once. Really? So uh, yeah, really. We've got an Orca, which is Kyogre, the legendary Pokemon, but we haven't got a dolphin at all. 
So uh, considering South West Wales in Pembrokeshire has got the largest pod of dolphins in Europe, I ah, thought oh, I'm going to take advantage of this. That makes the UK. sense. Yeah, yeah, let's get a dolphin in. So I've got damfin, which evolves into marafin, which is just a slightly bigger dolphin, basically. And then that's going to evolve into walkerfall, which is an orca. And but like, its its sort of fins are going to be like waterfalls. They're going to be constantly trickling out with water, no matter where it goes. Right. So it's sort of it. There's a constant stream of water just dripping out of walkerfall's fins. Okay. Essentially. Like the but weird the stuff, things on Doctor Who on Mars. Yeah, essentially <laughs> like that, but on a slightly bigger scale, yeah. a bigger scale and a more broad and using it as an attacking advantage. Cool. Yeah, sorry, I suddenly realised how long I take to talk about all That's this. That's all right, I, very passionate I, I, about I took it. ages, to be honest. It's going to be a, a longer episode than normal, but we did yeah. a short one last time, so yeah, oh, they yeah, average we out. very ill. <laughs> but anyway, I'll, I'll mention a couple of gyms I've got now, because... Um, the next one is actually going to be in the next town that I'm building on Minecraft, which is going to be based off of Colchester, mm-hmm. because you start in the southeast, because that's where we live. It is. <laughs> yeah, I thought, why not? <laughs> so um, yeah, the first gym is actually going to be based off of Colchester. Usually you get rock type gyms first and all those sorts of things, but this one is the fairy type gym at Colchester. Right. It's going to be full of like lore and everything, and inside this gym, based off of a, uh, based off of the castle. Is going to be people in like Roman dress and mm. dressed up as I don't want to say some Roman soldiers, but you know that sort of period clothing. Mm-hmm. And um, there'll be two people at a door, cl- like blocking the door with their big swords, basically. And you have to face them in a double battle. And if you win, you know they obviously let you through. And then you go on to the next set, and that happens three times. So, but you've got to have three double battles, and then you take on take on the gym leader, the fairy type gym leader. Uh-huh. Called Julius. In- yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually thought of their names, so that could be their name now. <laughs> Julius. Well, Pokemon are great with their names, because um, there is um, the Master Trainers in Let's Go. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Um, the Zubat and Golbat lines. Um, considering they're bats, their Master Trainer names are um, Keaton and West. I'm assuming based off of <laughs> Batman, of Adam oh. West and... Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, where are they going? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, also the Matchamp Master Trainer is called um, uh, uh, Randy, I think. Based off of Randy Orton, I would assume. Maybe? Maybe. It's a st- Or is it called Orton? It's one of those two names. Oh, right. Okay. And everyone's basically saying, well, that's got to be. It's a four-armed fighting type. Uh, that's got to be based possibly, off of a wrestling. Yeah. You know, it's got yeah. to be. See, wrestling and Pokemon Again, crossover. Should have called him <laughs> Keith after his middle name. See? <laughs> Master Trainer Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Hats off to Master the Keiths. Tra- <laughs> I've got the strongest <laughs> match champ in the world. What's your name? Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it could happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> But yeah, no, uh, yes, but that's essentially that gym. Um, every gym obviously introduces like a new Pokemon with that with that gym. That's right. how the games sort of introduce them. And I've invented a fairy type, which is also part dark type, so that's two of the new types. Mm-hmm. And fairy dark isn't really a combination they've done before. It's a unique typing, if it was to exist. And I called it Elfiery, and it's basically an elf, which is very troublesome. Hmm. Like a an anti elf, I'm going to call like it. Like an imp. Yes, an imp, exactly like an imp. Yeah. Hmm. So it's an elf. It's based off of fear and the fairy. So like elf fairy, and that's essentially that their signature Pokemon. And that's that gym. Cool. And that's the one that's coming next. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, got the starters there. I've got that gym there, and uh, I might save some of this more, in, some more of this information for the next podcast. Actually, I might sort of do a two-parter section. Okay. Because I've still got about two thirds of my list I was going to talk about to talk about, so I might save that. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> I might, yeah, I might save that for a part two. To be honest, okay. actually. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> but I sent, yeah. But to give it a general overview, I've invented, and just by writing, some of them are awful. They're really awful. But I've invented a hundred and two Pokemon so far, just from my own imagination. Hmm. I've been looking at all the unique typings that haven't been done yet. <clears throat> and I've been trying to basically use those. For example, actually, I'll talk about one more. It's a 
you always get a little normal type at the start of each game, you know, like a Ratata or something like that. Yeah. So mine is based off of a Lima, and mm-hmm. it's got the first one's called Karma, and it's just a normal type. Then it evolves <clears throat> when you have a ghost type in your party. Right. And it evolves into Madamur, which is basically a haunted Lima, and it's a normal ghost type. So it sort of takes on part of the spirit of the ghost type that's in your party and then it, instead of being all calm and relaxed like nice little lemur it then becomes very energetic and lively mad and haunted basically not scary haunted but just oh like, okay it's, it never stops it never runs out of energy it's yeah. always producing energy and you can't calm it down basically. it's a five year old on fizzy sweets yeah <laughs> but, but never ending yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah and that's going to be normal ghost type which I think is possibly it Another type that hasn't been used, type combination. But I possibly think that's the best type combination you can get. Because mm. it's only going to have one weakness, which is dark type. And being both normal and ghost, it is immune to fighting ghost and normal types. Handy. So it's immune completely to three out of 18 types. That's a sixth of all types that exist. doesn't even affect it. And... And, and it's immune one entirely to itself, so that could be yeah. a long, arduous fight. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <coughs> Where ghost is usually weak to ghost, because it's now part normal, which resists ghost, it ha- it's given one of its weaknesses up. Yeah. And equally, where normal is weak to fighting, mm. it fighting doesn't affect ghost, so it's given up that way. You know, it's mm. uh, not only just given up weaknesses, it's created immunities completely. Mm. So, normal ghost type Lima, why not? <laughs> Fair play. That yeah, I, I mean, if that existed, I that probably would be one of my favourite Pokemon. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be used in competitive battling all, all over the time. place. I would assume. Yeah. Fair Switching enough. out when you know someone's going to use a move and you bring in that. Mm. I don't know what ability it would have, but I don't know. But yeah, that, so I'll keep the rest for Podisode Six. I think it will, won't it, in the new year. Uh, yeah, I've lost count as to how many we've done, yeah. but yeah, Ooh. six, seven, something, yeah. Yeah, almost an entire series in terms of British programmes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, Americans go for 24, England and Scotland and everything, Britain goes for six. Well, that's because we've got no money and they have all the money. Yeah, as proved in Doctor Who. Indeed. But anyway, yes. <laughs> that's cool. a conversation for a different <laughs> Nice. So, many things in the pipeline still then. Yeah. I need to finish off my stadium gym leader challenge as well. I've only got um, Blaine and Giovanni left, 7th mm-hmm. and 8th gym, so I might film that one night. Get so. it done before the year's out. Yeah. yeah. There is the Elite Four after that, but at least I've done the 8 gyms. That yeah, done. fair yeah. enough. Okay. And more Master Trainer series, Caterpie versus Caterpie. <laughs> <laughs> so <Why> many. <laughs> yeah, there, there are loads. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's going to... Yeah, nice. yeah, that, that's what's coming up. Cool. People should watch our channels because they sound like they're interesting. Uh, they're going to sound like they're going to be interesting for the next few weeks. I hope so. Well, I'd like <laughs> to think they've been fairly interesting beforehand, but oh, okay. <laughs> hopefully going also forward. Got the, we've also got the Mario Kart thing to do in the new year as well, haven't we? Yes, we definitely. Mario yeah, Kart's we've we've kind of had to. Christmas got in the way, um, but yeah, yeah, that will definitely be a, a new year thing. Um, just as kind of an aside to that, I realised that a lot of my stuff has been very PlayStation centric, um, and I do have a SNES and a Mega Drive, kind of sitting collecting dust, and I want to kind of get them out. So I need that kind of adapter thing so that I can link them up as yeah. well. So that yeah, that we can sense. do the Mario Kart thing with my SNES. Start makes at sense, the beginning. Yeah. I think that's partly why I use Minecraft. I know I was making a Pokemon region on it, but I thought I've used Pokemon games so often I need to branch out <laughs> yeah mix up plus with minecraft you can kind of do what you want so it, it made exactly. sense with what you were doing so yeah minecraft's a perfect game perfect game for flat earthers <laughs> <laughs> it's the proof they use Indeed, See, look, yeah, told you. just it's flat <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well on that note then i'll i'll bid you goodbye and i'm gonna go finish filming my christmas special lovely go climb up a tree <laughs> <laughs> enjoy Yes, enjoy. Yeah, have a lovely, have a lovely week. Have a lovely Christmas and, and yourself a yeah. new year. And yeah, I'm sure I will see you and speak to you before then, but probably not in this medium. No. Um, so anyone on your channel that doesn't kind of look at me regularly, um, New Year's, Happy New Year, and Merry Christmas to you guys. 
and uh, I'll see you in 2019. <laughs> Yeah, and of course the same to your subscribers who may not know of my <laughs> my work and don't watch me regularly. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you guys as well, and of course my subscribers. Lovely. I won't forget them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, see you later. See you later.